This is Essentials. It's a collection of Macs for Live devices that each do one thing, but do it well. With only one or two controls each, they're simple to use, but conceptually vast. They're also fun and engaging, destined to become essential tools in your music making toolkit. There are five devices, color, shift, filter, excite, and widen. Essentials is a pay if you can pack, Download it for free and use it for as long as you like with no restrictions. But if you can afford to support, it is greatly appreciated and goes a long way to helping the development of future packs. You'll find links in the description. Let's take a look at each device and see what it does. We'll start with my personal favorite, color. There are six color modes, tape, tube, valve, diode, transistor, and overdrive. These are not modeled on any particular hardware, but instead evoke the vibe of those kinds of gear. Each mode has its own unique character, but also due to the nature of how distortion and coloration works, each mode will respond slightly differently depending on the signal you send into it, as well as how much the signal is driven. A particular mode might give you quite a different kind of sound on say drums versus on a pad. The drive control simply drives how much the signal is going into the distortion, and thus how much coloration you'll get. It's also gain compensated and will add coloration without affecting the overall level too much, so you can accurately hear the difference. The trim control lets you adjust the overall output of the device, in case you do need to also manually compensate the gain. Although it's quite simple to use, because it can behave so differently on different kinds of material, color can be hard to master. I'd recommend spending some time exploring the different modes on different kinds of audio to learn its subtleties. Once you master it, it can be a powerful tool for adding character and color to your tracks. Filter is a simple high and low pass filter with some analog character if you want it. There are no resonance controls. The resonance of each filter adapts automatically to give a smooth response across the range of the control. Filter is designed to be used for creative filter sweeps like you might do with a DJ mixer or hardware filter. So it works really well when paired with the MIDI controller. It also works well as a fixed filter, for example, to clean up some muddy lows with a high pass. Use the drive control to add in some analog style post filter coloration. At zero, drive is completely off and filter functions like a simple digital filter. Turn up drive to start getting some warm, crunchy overdrive with your filter sweeps. Widen is a mono-compatible stereo widening tool. Turn the width control up to add artificial stereo width to anything without causing phasing issues. The mono switch can be used to quickly check mono compatibility. The high pass control bypasses the stereo widening on any frequencies below the cutoff. 
while it can be tempting to use widen on absolutely everything, a good mix has a balance of wide and narrow sounds, as well as sounds panned to different places in the stereo field, so it's recommended to use widen sparingly, usually only on one or two elements in a mix at most. Exciters are unique tools that can be used to enhance dull sounds. They work by subtly distorting a signal to add additional harmonics. While an EQ can only cut or boost what's already there, exciting adds new frequencies and lets you brighten up sounds beyond what's possible with simple EQ. In Excite, the Excite control determines how much excitation is applied. The Focus control determines the center frequency around which excitation is applied. Set the focus to a higher value, around 1 kHz and above, and dial up Excite to brighten up dull sounds. Try setting the focus to a lower value, around 300 to 700 Hz, and dial up Excite to add fullness and clarity to bass. Shift is a simple frequency shifter, with coarse and fine controls. Frequency shifting has many uses, but Shift has been designed specifically for tuning drums and percussion. Frequency shifting can be used to tune your drums in a more natural sounding way than using a transpose control. There isn't necessarily a right or wrong way to tune your drums, but frequency shifting gives you another option. Don't forget that you can download Essentials for free or purchase the pack to support future development. Head to elephant.io forward slash essentials. 